In the last video, we talked about the filters and how to set up CSS in Wix Studio. This time we will talk about the blending modes and how you can use them to create beautiful effect for your images and text and anything uh, you want. So let's get started. And first I will add an image real quick. This is from uh, Freepik. Really cool website to uh, get you know a lot of assets. Uh, let's change the height of the section. Four hundred viewport height. All right. Now let's talk about the blending mode. Uh, in order to use the blending mode, you need to have like at least two layers. Now let's set the blending mode. In order to use the blending mode, we will need a second layer here. Uh, I'm going to use this basic shape. Let's resize it. Um, let's set the width to 100, 100 VW. Uh, let's also change the shape to square or rectangle, whatever you want. You can always change the dimensions here. Uh, let's set the height to around 50 VH so that we can see the effect. Okay, and now we are good to uh, go with the CSS. So go to global CSS and of course we have to assign a class. I set it to David, just like before. Remember that when you assign a class to some other element, you will see the same effect under the same CSS, all right? So uh, first of all, let's uh, write the name of the class. Then we have the curly bracket. Okay, um, now let's set a mix blend mode. So for that, we have to write mix blend mode all right and here you can apply different uh mode for this so for example for this one let's go with overlay and you can see that it applies a certain color uh, variation in the image using the overlay uh, blending mode right so it creates a really cool effect you can still apply some animation in this shape and you can also change the color of this uh, shape and it will show you different cool effects so as you can see we now have this blood red color here right right so you can apply different animations and interaction on it as well so for example uh, let's add a fade effect or Let's apply a slide effect. So you can apply different colors, different animations, and there are a lot of blending modes. So for example, I can uh, change this to saturation and it will show you a different effect altogether. So it looks like this. Let's add something else. Let's add screen and it will show you this type of effect so different blending modes show different effect uh, we have the lighten we have color color burn and color dodge each with its own effect Right, so depending on the filter you are using, you can apply different effects, add animations, you know, uh, scroll animations are a cool thing to add to this shape, and you can get different, uh, you know, filters on your image. And this is a really cool way to create some stories for your web page. You can apply different filters, different uh, blending modes, and uh, create beautiful designs. Uh, let me show you a practical example of it so that you can understand how to use them. Let's use this on a text. Let's delete this section altogether. And add a new one. Let's 
set it to 100 bh. Now what I'm going to do is set an abstract image as the background like this all right and let's add a text as well and we will apply a blending mode on this text uh, let's change it to h1 right now let's apply a blending mode to this text I'm gonna go with another CSS class uh, let's set this one image one and apply a simple blending mode to this text so again you have to set the name like this and here you can write your CSS code so let's go ahead and add the mixed blending mode this time we are going to add the difference and change the color of the text to white and you will find that this has a really cool effect on the text right so depending on the background you will see different um, effect on the text as well so let's go ahead and make some changes in the background image let's change it to nature and again you will find that it has a different effect on the heading uh, by the way this will also work with the uh, change in the font color so depending on the color of the uh, text you can see different effect on the text as well but most of the time I will recommend using light color uh, for the black ones you won't see um, any effect at all um, let's apply let's change the uh, image this works best with the abstract images but you can use any image you want let's use this one and as you can see we have different uh, color on different sections right so you can add uh, for example a loop animation and you will see different color for each section here all right so uh, using the blending modes you can apply different cool effects uh, let's change the blend mode to saturation and see what happens Uh, not as good as I want it. Let's uh, use a screen, another cool effect for texts. Let's change the font color to red, and you will have a very light screen effect right here. We also have overlay, so you can use that. The best uh, option for this one is the uh, difference. That's the best ones. Uh, but you can try a different effect and see where it takes you. So you can apply different effects, different uh, blending modes. And based on the background image, background element that you are using, you will see a different um, effect on the image every single time. Okay, so that's how you can use the blending modes to uh, create beautiful um, effect 
It also works on the images. As I said before, you can apply different uh, shapes and create beautiful effects on your images, your buttons, your text, and anything you want. So do some experiments on images, shapes, and different elements. See where it takes you and um, apply the blending modes. L look for other blending modes. I will drop a link for uh, the blending modes, different blending modes along with their code. So you can uh, take the inspirations and use them in your uh, CSS, global CSS. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. In the next video, we will talk about some animation using hue and saturation. So yes, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.